Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm with the National Herbalist Association of Australia with the Sydney Seminar Series. And with me I have Kylie Armstrong, who's a quite a new practitioner. Yes, that's right. How are you going, Kylie? Oh, great, great. It's fantastic. I'm, yeah, very, very good. I'm very happy to uh, have found naturopathy and to make it my career, definitely. Yeah, yeah. you practice with a really holistic philosophy, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, obviously, because I've been trained recently um, at university, I've kind of gotten all the latest scientific models of naturopathy and uh, all the clinical trials and everything that go along with that. Um, but previous to my training um, at, at uni, I was doing a lot of, you know, the kind of more spiritual energy healing a lot of mm -hmm. massage and things like that so I would say that that was my foundation and then I was very lucky to find a very strict stringent course um, just to get my yeah my knowledge my Excellent. knowledge up so yeah so I can really back up my natural philosophy on health and well-being and what's important for, yeah, to have a life that you love. Yeah, yeah. and have it with evidence-based herbal medicines. Yeah, yeah, just to have that, mm. that great scientific backing. Mm. Um, yeah, just to really, yeah, just, I mean, it's all about just doing your best to try and help each, each client that you have with the knowledge you've got and, yeah, a bit of scientific knowledge is, is, is a great backup. So Brilliant. Yeah. Now, you were in Sydney at Coogee Beach and you also practice in the inner city. Have That's you got right. a clinic or are you working out of a shop? How do you do it? Um, yeah, I've got two clinics. Yeah. I've got a clinic in Coogee and in the city, at uh, Sydney CBD. Great. Yeah. And um, it must keep you busy. What kind of um, health issues do you deal with? Um, I tend to, like as many naturopaths, I tend to deal a lot with um, just fatigue, digestive disturbance, um, a lot of um, hormonal, endocrine, you know, a lot of female health issues, um, you know, like painful periods, uh, PCOS, endometriosis, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you deal a lot with stress? Oh, definitely, yeah. People who are stressed, exhausted, um, a bit anxious, but yeah, they're just a bit depleted. Mm. Often, often, pretty much most people are. Or they might come in for a specific issue a specific physical issue and then you end up doing a lot of work on just their overall life and mm. just having a healthy life and healthy diet and start to think about what they want to do and what and, and what would make their life better and you know following their passion and okay and and all the positive you know the positive aspects of health once you start living the life that you want to live so what do you consider a healthy diet a healthy diet mm. um lots of uh, as close to like eating as much food as close to its natural state as possible, mm -hmm. um, organic where possible, um, a lot of fresh, you know, you know, snacking on fresh vegetables and, um, and yeah, a lot of protein, low GI, which means like, you know. The low glycemic index. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, you know, a good amount of protein, eating regularly, eating a wide variety of foods um, as fresh as possible. Mm, that's brilliant. Mm. And what what is your favourite herbs? Can you tell me about some of those? Um, well, my favourite herbs. I've, I mean, I've almost got too many to talk about. And as mm -hmm. herbalists get together, you tend to start talking about herbs. And oh yeah, that's one of my favourites, and that's one of my favourites. And you seem to have a, a never ending list. But I guess I really like the herbs that that do have one main action, but then also a lot of other extra bonus actions. Like for example, just simple herbs like. Uh, lemon balm, you know, I love that there's, it's, it's good for anxiety, whether there's the mind and, and stomach, you know, digest, mm. digestion connection, which is happening more and more, you know, like increasing IBS type symptoms and everything. Um, but then it's also antiviral, you know, so mm. it, it can also be help, you know, like in a, in a cold tonic or something like that. Mm. So I, I love the herbs with many uses that you can really address a few different a few different things with so and what's your favorite way of taking herbs oh i do a lot of um i do a lot of liquid herb mixes is that the herbal extracts yeah you're talking about? yeah herbal extracts but yeah. of course it's um it's up to the client right so why <laughs> why do you use herbal extracts oh just because i feel that you can really individualize the dose and and the formula to the person and just make it more convenient that way. Oh, yeah. lovely. But it really depends on, on the lifestyle of the client and if they can tolerate and yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, but that's my favorite 
I just feel like you can just really go very specific then. Yeah. And mm. how do people find you? Um, I, well, I love my clients yeah. and I guess they tend to <laughs> love me. We, you know, we have a nice time together. Oh, and how can people get hold oh, of you? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got all my details on the NHAA website in, yeah. under Find a Practitioner. So if you were to put in Kylie Armstrong um, naturopath in Coogee or in the city... Um, also, my website, yeah. your, uh, yourhealthnaturally.com.au. Yep. Fantastic. And you can also find me on Facebook, uh, Kylie Armstrong, Your Health Naturally. Thank you, Kylie. It's been a pleasure talking okay, to you. Okay, it's been great talking to you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.